So when 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 this moose goes to shake, um, you see deer doing that a lot, basically shaking their rack back and forth. They might be shaking water or ice off their back. A lot of deer shed their antlers at this time, like at that specific movement. I'm wildlife artist Ryan Kirby, and I've spent most of my career studying whitetails and their anatomy and behavior. And I've also worked with a lot of experts in the field from the NDA, uh, listen to MSU Deer Lab, and a lot of, of whitetail experts that have helped me learn some of the things that we're gonna talk about in this video today. Crazy rare. And uh, man, when they flew off, I, I, I shook a little bit. I was adrenaline rush for sure. Hmm. I've found- That's amazing. Uh, um, so after the rut, there's a decrease in testosterone, which causes a buck to shed. Um, and during that period of time, they're not rubbing, they're not fighting, they're not doing any of that stuff. All that stuff is behind them in the rut, but the antlers are very vulnerable to falling off right now. There's a drop in testosterone that is naturally gonna lead to that antler falling off. It's kind of like a, a kid losing a tooth. It's gonna get loose and loose and loose. Sometimes an act will knock it out early. Sometimes it almost falls off by itself. So there comes a period of time where it's gonna happen no matter what. But when you see this move shake like that, a lot of times that's the impetus that causes that antler to fall off. I see it's gone. I just felt him drop his foot. Look at that's that. crazy. He's sidestepping him. He's gonna run him out of here. So Drury Outdoors obviously has some of the best deer content ever. They always have. And one of the coolest ones I've seen is this video where this buck comes in late season and shakes his rack like that typically is the, the stimulus for losing an antler. His left side falls off and you can tell as soon as he picks himself back up, He's looking and he's feeling. He obviously knows that left side is gone. I'm sure he can see his main beam um, from his eye and now it's gone. It's been there all year and it's gone. Another buck comes in and try to fight him. And instead of going in at him, he knows he's vulnerable. He's gonna get an eye poked out or something. He rears back up and starts kicking like a doe does or like bucks do when they're in velvet. A lot of times you'll see bucks sort of spar and fight in a bachelor group in velvet and they know that their antlers are soft or they're vulnerable at that time in velvet. So they'll kick like does and they won't actually fight. <laughs> so this guy here just goes up and kind of nudges a doe and both of his antlers fall off. And you can tell from the way they fall off, they were just hanging on by a thread. It's, you know, again, it's kind of like a little kid losing a tooth. Sometime, sometime they get hit and it falls out, sometimes they're just hanging on by a thread and any little thing is gonna bump them. <laughs> so this mule deer here, you know, mule deer have that bounding gait and at the bottom of his bound, he just lost it. Um, you can tell by his reaction, he knows something's not right. And you gotta think about it too, if you've gone months of having that much rack, that much bone on the top of your head, uh, but that's a, that's a big antler. That's a big animal to hold that much antler for that long. So here's an, an elk that's doing it. I've, I've never seen an elk shed an antler and he's, he shed his right side first and you can, you can just tell that this left side is driving him crazy and he wants it off. It's almost like he's trying to knock it off and finally gets it off. But the crazy thing about deer antlers is that the pedicle is really where it all begins. And within a week or two, those pedicles are actually, he, he's gonna, that buck's gonna experience another uh, jump in testosterone. And within a week or two, he's gonna start his new antler growth as soon as he drops that other one. So it's pretty fascinating how the whole thing works and it's amazing how fast they grow. Um, you know, deer antlers are some of the fastest growing, if not the fastest growing tissue, bone, whatever you wanna call it, known to man. And so it's amazing that these things, some of these big deer can drop an antler and in April, May, June, July, August have regrown 200 inches of antler. It's amazing. So another interesting fact is that antlers contain some really important minerals for other animals, squirrels, and rodents, uh, calcium and phosphorus being the main ones. So that's why if you found an antler shed that's been sitting there for a year, it's all chewed up. But that's just another really fascinating thing about antlers and how they play into the whole ecosystem um, in general. So 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that as an artist, I can help you understand and see some things that I've gleaned from some of the top whitetail biologists in the country and, and just grow to appreciate the antlers and, and the deer more than you did before. Um, be sure and get out there and shed hunt. It's a lot of fun taking your kids out, trying to find sheds. It's something you can do to get out or outdoors in the off season. Best of luck, hope you had a great deer season and get out there shed hunting. And check out ryankirby.com for my whitetail print and more.